NXT TakeOver New Orleans is the night before WrestleMania, and a lot is going on so far. Um, first of all, let's just talk about the Titan Championship match. The Undisputed Era's Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish will defend against the winners of the Dusty Rhodes Classic. Now, the tournament's still going on, so we don't really know who's going to do that, but it's just, you know, formality at this point. Uh, that there will be a tag team title match, and the winner of the Dusty Rhodes Cla Tag Team Classic will get that shot. It's the first Dusty Rhodes Classic since 2016, I believe, because I don't remember there was, if there was one last year. I don't recall. But if there was, then the Office of Pain won it. Um, if not, it was 2016. It's because I remember there was one in 2016. I don't remember the one like the year, like last year. If there was one last year, if not, that's fine. You know, this will count as that, I guess. But there's a lot of big teams in there, and hopefully, as that tournament goes on, we'll be able to give you an update on who actually has won the Dusty Rhodes Classic and who gets that title shot. Um, next up, we have the women's title on the line as Ember Moon defends against Shayna Baszler in a rematch of last takeover. And with, with takeovers, you have to think about who's getting called up, who's potentially getting called up, um, and I don't know. Especially with Ronda Rousey on Raw, you would think that her former, well not her former, but her fellow MMA uh, horsewoman uh, in Shayna would probably get called up too, and maybe might turn face and be with Ronda. Uh... This is a team or something, I don't know. It's something you could do. But that probably not until after WrestleMania. Because, uh, of course, Ronda has the mixed tag with Kurt. And then uh, against Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. But uh, with that, I mean... It is a great match. Um, it was a great match at the last takeover. Um, I feel like... If Ember was going to get called up now then Shayna would, would retain. Or, sorry, sorry Shayna, Shayna would win. And if Shayna gets called up to do the thing with Ronda, then then Ember will win. Because with takeovers, you can't really predict based on who is, who's staying. You know, it's more of like, you know, because at the end of the day, NXT, even though it's its own brand, or it's become its own brand, honestly, uh, at the end of the day, it's still developmental. And you have to think about who's getting called up to the main roster, or will there be any call ups this time? Because after a takeover, there are some ta there there have been some call ups over the past few takeovers. Um, so with that being said, I mean, I would love Shayna to have the belt, but Ember, if she's not getting called up, she needs it more. So I'm gonna go with Ember, but I would not be surprised if Shayna won and Ember goes to the main roster because she did show up in the Women's Royal Rumble. So there's a possibility, but you never know. Uh, and finally, the NXT title. Um, Andrade Cien Almas will defend against Aleister Black. Now, recent, recently Almas defeated uh, Johnny Gargano in a career versus title match. So Gargano is basically gone from NXT and he will probably be called up very soon. Because if not, then he's just going to get released. I mean... He does have, as you saw a couple weeks ago with the, with the, uh, which is interesting that I saw them do the, um, uh, termination promo, basically of the letter of termination. And it wasn't really a promo, it was just, you know, it was them, sh him signing the letter of termination that of course he'll have, he'll have to do live events and personal appearances. Of course, WrestleMania access comes to mind as well. Um, but other than that, Gargano's pretty much gone. So the next challenger in that is uh, Alistair Black, who defeated Killian Dame in kind of an unofficial number one contenders match for the title. But, um, and they had the contract signing last night as well. Uh, I really don't know. Because Almas has not held the title for, for long. I mean, he, I think he won at the Survivor Series uh, takeover. Um, I forget the name of it. I feel bad, but I forget the name of it. But he won it around there. And he held on to it at the Rumble last time. And, uh, and of course, he was also in the Rumble match as well. So it really depends on what they're going to do with Al with Almas. And as well as Selena Vega. 
But as far as this match goes, I mean, if Vega is at ringside, and if Candice LeRae is at ringside, then that will pretty much even that out. Because we saw Candice LeRae take, uh, take out uh, Vega last night on NXT during the contract signing. Because even, even though Gargano's gone, you know, she's still there. And uh, she's still there in NXT. So, I don't really, really don't know. Because Aleister Black has been undefeated for a while. And the streak recently ended uh, in that Fatal 4-Way match. So, he needs the momentum. So, he needs the title. But, almost needs it. Honestly, almost needs it more than Aleister. Aleister can go on without the NXT title and go to the main roster. There's no doubt in my mind. But that would cement his NXT career if he did win it. But Almas really needs the help. And thank God Vega's there because Vega has turned this guy around and made him a star. You know, back to the days of him actually being the former La Sombra. Where he, he was a fucking star. And now uh, Almas actually has the potential to be an, an actual main eventer. Uh, probably won't be that way when he goes to the main roster, but uh, I think at uh, with almost it's it's interesting. You know, he's really turned his career around, and I will pick Almas, but I will not be surprised uh, if Alistair picks up the win. I just feel uh, Almas needs it more. If he's not getting called up, there's no point of dropping him dropping the title. And with that, uh, NXT Takeover uh, New Orleans is uh, the night before WrestleMania. And it'll be a great night. It'll be a great card. Already, already it's a great card. We just have to figure out who wins the Dusty Road Classic. And there has been rumors of a certain title being introduced. I'm not going to spoil it because, you know, NXT has taped a lot of stuff in advance. So people know what it is. But I'm not going to spoil it until it actually is introduced on NXT television. It's big, though. I will say that. I'll leave you with this. It is really big, and it's going to change the face of NXT, for sure.